Welcome back to Tuk's Crab Table. Welcome to all my new subscribers and um, thank you for all of those who are following me for a little while. Um, I hope everybody is staying well and safe and happy Easter. <laughs> I hope everybody having a, a good time chatting or um, virtual egg hunt with the grandchildren. Staying in touch and having fun. Today, I just want to come to to share how I make my mask. Uh, I've been post uh, posting fabric mask on Facebook, and I have a, quite a bit of requests. And uh, I've been handing out oh, over hundred now. And uh, I was hoping to send some to the hospital, but. Stick. <laughs> so, but either way, right? Um, but lately, I just got a donate for elastic band. Uh, it's a thicker one, so I'm hoping to make a headband to to donate instead. So, in this um, uh, series, I'm gonna make three different video. One is uh, on the face mask in the three D. Um, Pattern. This pattern is not mine. It's um, my friend who's a um, teacher back home. She's um, she's a teacher um, at the univer um, not university, ed vacation college in Ubon Ratchatani. I will link uh, the college uh, just to give them credit for the pattern in my website and also. If you want to download the, the pattern, make sure you download it and don't use that picture to cut out your, your fabric. You have to recreate your own pattern with those number because I don't, I don't uh, know how to make the picture to print out exactly the same size. So I, 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 I think you understand, but, uh, those pattern will be in my blog, so head to my blog and download and follow along with me. So the material I use for the first layer, uh, I use cotton, 100% cotton. So um, dark color would be good for the first layer. Um, and then I have interfacing. It's not a thick interfacing, so some people concern about difficulty of breathing, but I don't have issue with with mine when I when I use mine. And then the more you um, wash it, it even softer of these interfacing. So it's an iron on, and uh, I can't tell you where I got it because I have these fabrics since like at least. 10 or 15 years in my stash when I was making children clothing. So I have a bunch of that. And then I have um, flannel to be the lining. And then um, in this pattern, I'm making the case for filter as well. The fabric to make the case is like the thin cotton that as, as thin as you can because you don't want to add too many layers, right? So this fabric has to be super thin even like the cheese cloth if you can sew cheese cloth, right? That that will work too. So um, Basically for the for the pattern full pattern you need to cut one lining. I mean one first layer one lining, but each um, You cut it in full, right? So you cut it Two, two of each so you fold fabric together and then you put the pattern down and then you cut it so you get two and then the interface and so first of all um, let me go iron on the interfacing and then we can start sewing okay I'll be right back okay here's how how they iron on see how Thin that is, so you wouldn't have. And this uh, interfacing will give 
body to the first layer as well. So let's start sewing. I, I don't really use a pin. Maybe it's not a good idea. But... So it's just um, about one eighth of an inch I, I sew, just one length of the uh, foot, you call the foot, right? So I'm just going to clip it, so make it easier to flip because we're going to do dish, sew down dish, you call I Sorry, I don't really know the term of the stitching, but I can show you what I meant. So you can open in two, but I, I'm not bothered because if you open two, sometimes the stitch is open too wide, so I just go in one way. It doesn't really matter which way, you. it just, just let it go. Same as here. the same thing I should have um, some kind of fabric to run and now this is the case for the filter so we need to sew the edge Now you want to put um, this on top of this one. Make sure you have the curvy part and curvy part. Put the right side out. Like this is the right side and this is the right side. So put it out and then try to keep the seam stay together. You can pin. If you make a lot, you may not need to pin, but if you're a really good sewer, you probably don't need pinning. So I'm just going to have a quick sew together. Just a quick um, attach the lining and the case together. There's no need to be perfect. And now we need to put them together. And the right side for this part is the one with the casing. So we need to put right side and right side together. 
which is I did it wrong. So let's try again. So much mistake just because I'm on the camera. mistake at first so now let's turn it inside out and hope that everything go right this time because it's the big size I don't need anything to turn like for turning but um, make sure your corner like all push out And this is this is how you get after you turn it out. Okay, this is how you're gonna turn it inside out. The right side out should say that, right? But uh, so I'm gonna go and give it a, a quick iron and. While I was at the ironing, um, so I iron the edge in so we can sew around and this is what it looked like for now. So let's sew these. Oh, at this point, sorry, if you want to put the, the nose um, wire, this is the time. To, to put in. Um, I glue two twist tie together. Uh, some that I sent out has and then some doesn't because I don't know some people might find it irritate to their nose so so I just leave it out but uh, this is you can add it So now you can sew all around. It's just a quick sew, so just to show you. But um, and then I want to fold it down and sew here for our elastic. Do the same here. My 
my sewing is quite bad, so don't judge. <laughs> this is just a quick, quick to show you how I make my mask. But, um, usually I take time to do it and then the machine is not cooperate at all. So usually this is um, open, uh, but I have uh, trouble sewing. <laughs> Put the wrong side together so it kind of eat in the fabric for a bit and but this is how the mask is and then how you put in these the reason I do this um, way because the elastic sometimes it doesn't last so or you can add just a uh, string that is not elastic if you want to go around your your head um, rather than your ear, so this is um, in the pattern. It would tell how many how um, uh, the elastic is twenty three cents, twenty three centimeters each. So that's how I go, and then I just when I hand it out, I just left so people can adjust so you can tie it any like size you want and then you can hide the, the knot also um, having the ear loop this way because if you really pull pull the size these will really tight up, not open like that. Like I know when you sew on the elastic, you have no control of the, and then it will keep it open. It will open that way, but that's how I see. But if you do like this, see how, how tight it will be around your ear? Yeah, so that's how I do my, my mask. And uh, let me show you what I use for filter. Don't laugh at me though. Okay, this is what I use for filter <laughs> because it's a it's a dry sweeping refills. So there, there's some. It's a floral scent, but I left it open for a long time, so the scent almost gone. But they might have nonsense one that you can use. Uh, but this one have it's already have no sense attached to it so the this one it said uh, trapped and locked in dust dirt hair and crumbs so it it says safe for food for wood linoleum and but um, because of um, I think the fiber here so I, I don't see the chemical in there I think it's just the uh, the what you call il electric city in this will will attract dust so that's that's what I use to f to insert for my my mask so but th that is totally up to you right you can buy a 95 filter but I would rather save that for the doctor and nurse because we don't really need it we go out to get grocery and that's all we do right and then you go in you go out quickly you don't start conversation with strangers so there's no need to be so it is to be safe but um, you know people who are more at risk need it more than us right the N95 one there and uh, I've been using like this. I don't have any issue with breathing or anything because um, this is cotton and the interfacing is quite thin, but it adds another protection, another layer for dust or anything. But um, this filter is basically is when you sneeze or cough or speak, it traps your, your um, um, germ in here in the first filter you don't need to use it if you're not like have allergy but I do have allergy now so I started um, 
sneezing and coughing so I have to be wearing these when I'm, I'm going out but anyway that's the this is the 3d pattern pattern one so I'm coming back to do a pattern two that one is way easier um, pattern but uh, almost give it the same similar outcome so I uh, will be making another video and then hey then <laughs> okay have a great great Sunday dinner with everyone um, at home that if you stick together as a family so enjoy your Easter dinner bye